Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about my tattoos and my experience with my tattoos. So before we get into the video, I'm just going to tell you how many tattoos I have and where I got them done, etc, etc. So I have three tattoos and my first ever tattoo I got done when I think I was 14 or 15. And then not long after, I went in and I got another two done. Two done. So I got my t tattoo done unprofessionally. Well, it was from a guy that worked from home, but yeah, he was pretty good at the time. I seen some classic work and I was not like afraid at all, at all, at all, that there would be anything to occur or for my tattoos to go any wrong. So my first ever tattoo, I'm just gonna show you on camera, but I'm also gonna link a picture in this video so you can have a closer view. So this is my first ever tattoo and I think it was pretty amazing like the design and everything. When I got this tattoo done I just went on to Google Images at the time I had no clue. I went in and got a tattoo and I had no imagination, nothing going on in my head what I wanted done. I just said fuck it you know I'm gonna go and get a tattoo and I was young and foolish at the time. But yeah, I went on to Google Images and I seen the whole butterfly design. But at the time, I wanted my name. For those of you who are kind of thinking, okay, why would you get your name? Okay, I know it's pretty weird now, but back then it was kind of something, you know, popular to get done. But my real name is Nicole and everyone calls me Nikki. So in a way, like, it's not so bad. But yeah, each their own. I'm glad that I got my name, I suppose. It'd be worse if I got someone else's name. But yeah, um, I got my first ever tattoo at 15, 14 or 15, I'm pretty sure it was 15. Um, so I went to this guy's house, got it done. And when I was having it done, it was literally the most painfulest thing ever. What it felt like, it's like thorns. It's so hard to describe for some people, but to me, from my own personal experience, it's like thorns just going through your skin, in and out and in and out. And I think the colouring was just so bad, it was literally the worst thing ever. I remember being lying on that bed. He had the whole equipment, everything, but he did not work in a professional place at the time. And he was really affordable as well, so yeah. I would recommend going to a professional, you know, tattoo shop to have your tattoos done. So I'll tell you the after effect. So afterwards, what happened afterwards? So after a while, obviously, every tattoo will peel and it takes time to heal. But with me, it kind of went a little off. And I'm going to show you where it happened. So I can see here that this, the peeling did not, do you know, it lifted pretty badly and it left a really bad fade in. And I think as well, he kind of did it a bit slanted, whereas it'd be better if he did it more, you know, like this. It's just me stretching my skin now. And also here, he did this really thick. So I was disappointed about that. But now that I look back, I think like, you know, even though I have my name and everything, like I got it done pretty, at a really pretty young age, you know? And now I'm really 22 years old. So when I look back and I think about it, I have no regrets. But I'll tell you how I feel about tattoos at the end of the video. So my second tattoos then, well, I have two, but yeah, two more. I have three all together. So like a couple of weeks later, I think it was at the time, um, I went back and I got more tattoos. So this time I knew what I wanted. I had, you know, I knew exactly what I wanted. And this was the most failure. This was a failure. This was a really, really bad experience. So I went in the second time to the same place, same guy, everything like that. And I got more tattoos done, tattoos done. And I'm gonna show you them, but I'm also gonna link pictures. So I got this done, focus, gonna take time to focus, there you go. So I got that done. As you can see guys, it is pretty bad, really badly faded and everything, oh my God. But I at the time I was really happy with the design and everything, but nah. He warned me, he told me they would fade anyways, but yeah. It faded pretty badly. It's not picking up, it's not focusing, hardly. There you go. 
so obviously on camera it's going to be backwards but you know the drill it says dad then the third tattoo all together this is the other one so i got mom on this side of my hand and i loved them at the time even though they were so painful i was 100 percent warned about the consequences about them fading and everything like that and the pain but in my mind you know every tattoo is going to be sore fair play to the people that can stand there for them but with me oh my god these were just hell i went through hell with these tattoos i remember afterwards my hands were so stiff oh my god the feeling was just brutal it was so bad so time has passed and when i was done getting them done these were literally only 20 euro guys i think the one in my tummy was like 30 now that is so cheap like if you went into a tattoo shop you're gonna pay like three times the price but yeah obviously it takes time to heal and during the healing process they got really badly like they peeled so so bad that the whole tattoos were just ruined ruined and i cried like a baby i literally cried because this is my parents you know these are my two hands you know guys anytime i come on here and take a video i'm always using my hands you know and i always see these and they're so badly faded so i have asked other well i did get on to that guy again i told him about it and he said come in come back and i'll do them again but over that whole bad experience i just said no i'm not going to go back there because would you no you would not so i went out far and then about a year later and all of everyone that i went with they all got tattoos but at the time unfortunately i had a scab on one of my tattoos and obviously you can't go over that with ink you can't get a tattoo over a scab so that was a big you know for me i couldn't get my hands tattooed but i think back then if i had the choice to i would have but in a way everything happens for a reason i'm glad i didn't because for the people that i went with they had really bad experiences out far and getting tattoos done and i think if i was to get these done i would need a really professional person because as you can see these are already done so i need someone really good to do a good t touch up on them so I cried like a baby guys, worst experience of my life. Um, if you're wondering why I haven't got them done now and I'm 22 nearly, literally guys, I'm so frightened to get them done. I don't know what it is, but ever since I've had these tattoo tattoos done since I was 15, I'm literally dreading it to go into a proper tattoo shop. And I just haven't, you know, I haven't got the mindset to go in yet because I'm so frightened. I hate tattoos. I'm sorry, but I do. I feel like that I will never get another tattoo tattoo done again. I have a daughter. She's staring at me right now in the bed. But yeah, I even want to get her name tattoo, but it's like, no, I'm not going around any tattoo shop. So my experience to you guys is to think wisely. When you're young, do not get any tattoo tattoos done because you know i know they define who you are at times when i look back and you know i'm thinking i wouldn't be this person i wouldn't be the same if i didn't have these you know but i do think if you have to think wisely if you want a tattoo think wisely overnight or whatever how long it will take and make up your mind and get something that's really meaningful and symbolizes see it's not really as bad for me in a way because like i have my mom and my dad and then i have my own name with a little design that i love which i love butterflies but yeah that's my experience the guy was generous enough you know he offered for me to come back in and have a session with him and redo my tattoos but as i mentioned i'm so frightened but if i do get them done again i will let you all know but yeah for now i'm tattoo free i don't want any more tattoos i'm sorry but i don't i think like it's really disgraceful as well like they're doing a lot of kids tattoos that are underage and i just think it's you know i really do think that when they say an adult should be there there should be an adult there because when you're young you're foolish and you just you go for it all but yeah that's my experience guys i'm going to link more pictures of my tattoos here and you guys can have a look and see for yourselves because the quality isn't the greatest it's nighttime and there's no light in hardly in my room all i'm looking into behind the camera is a lamp so yeah guys, let me know what y'all think and share your experiences down below of your bad tattoos. This is not no clickbait, uh, this is me being totally honest and yeah. So if you enjoyed the video, please do leave it a uh, thumbs up and subscribe down below. If you have not already, I'd love to have you here. I upload lots of times a week. So 
some weeks I would literally upload every day. So yeah, I'd love to have you here, guys. Thanks for watching. Till next time, bye.